Once you know your keywords, where do you put them? In this video, I'm going to share with you two critical tags where you put your keywords, where you weave your keywords into your HTML documents that you create through, say, WordPress, and one tag that's ignored. My name is Jason McDonald, director of the JM Internet Group. Let's get started. Okay, so we know our keywords. Where do we put them? Our agenda is we're going to learn the importance of the title tag, what it is, how it works, how we use it for our keywords and SEO. We're going to look at the meta description tag, talk about it. It's a little bit different. We're going to talk about the meta keywords tag and learn essentially that it's ignored. And then we're going to end up with the tag to-do list. This is the biggest ROI, the quickest fix for most websites is to fix their tags. All right, so let's get started with our title tag. So we want to understand what the title tag does sort of from a Google perspective so we know where to put our keywords in it. We're going to learn it does three things. It's the top of the browser. It shows the title at the top of the browser. Most people don't even look at that. It's the headline on a Google search, and it's the number one on-page factor uh, for SEO. So I'm going to go over to the instructor links. As usual, you can go to our website to get the instructor links to get any of the free goodies that I mention uh, in this session. Your code is 32. So you go to jm-seo.org slash 32 or click on the description in the YouTube video below and that will get you there. First thing I want to share with you is this all-important Google SEO guide. So I've got the link there. I'm going to open this guide up just really quickly. Uh, it's a little bit buried in the Googleplex, but this is a very important document. I tell all my students to get this document. And I want to go through this document just really quickly. I'm going to go Control F, and I'm going to type in title. Oh, it's being bad. So I'm going to go scroll down here. And I go to that very first page. And I'm going to show you that this document talks about creating unique and accurate page titles. So I highly recommend you get this document and read it because it's going to explain a lot of what we do uh, with our tag structure. All right, so now let's look at our title text. We've got the Google Guide. I hope you download it and read it. It's the Google Gospel on what to do in terms of tag structure. Let's look at some searches. Let's look at this search I built for reverse mortgage calculator. All right, so here's my search, reverse mortgage calculator. Here's my free stuff showing up down here. And we want to get, we want to understand where do these titles come from? We want to look at these titles. Where do these titles come from? So let's look at this one here. All RMC reverse mortgage calculators. Look at that. Reverse mortgage calculator compare lower rates and fees. Doesn't that sound exciting? That's really what I want to click on if I'm looking for reverse mortgage. So let's look at this page on the internet. Okay, and let's look at the top of the browser. Let's look way at the top of our screen. And you're going to see that's the same as the headline on Google. Same as the headline on Google. Now let's right click, view page source, and let's look at our title tag. So in your HTML, which would be outputted by WordPress or whatever platform you're using, it's often called the page title. That's the title tag. So what we see is the title tag get my, my uh, cursor to cooperate here. So the title tag is the top of the browser. It's the headline on Google. You can do this all day long, and what you will learn is these guys here are the title tags for those pages. So what's our first takeaway? If I want to get to the top of Google, if I want to look for Google, I'm going to put my keywords in that title tag. It's going to impact the top of the browser, which nobody cares about. It's going to impact the headline on Google. And now let's look at the results of this page. And let's look at how many, look at our search, reverse mortgage calculator. Let's look at how many have those three words in their title tags. Reverse mortgage calculator, so three of three, two of three, three 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 of three. Now, I'm not a mathematician, but I see a very strong correlation here. So your takeaway is, if you want to get to the top of a Google search, you must put those keywords in the title tag of that particular page. That's our first takeaway on our title tag. You can do this all day long. Check those title tags. That's what shows up on Google. Now let's look at a couple issues here. Let's look at 
the size of the title tag. Okay, let's find one that's truncating. So you'll see dot, dot, dot here. Let's find one that's truncating real quick. Let's go to page two and see if I can find one that's going to truncate for us. There we go. Top 10 things to know if you're interested. See that dot, dot, dot? Now let's copy that control C as in Charlie. And I have a little tool that I love to use when I write title tags. It's called lettercount.com. Let's paste that in here and count characters. You're going to see 70. The, a good title tag, about 69, 66 to 70 characters are visible. So I like to use 69. So about 69 visible characters. About 80 characters seem to be indexed. So what is the implication here? You want to put your most important information on the left-hand side. Most important. That's where you put your keywords. Notice how most of the big boys here on page one, they lead with the keyword reverse mortgage, reverse mortgage, reverse mortgage. Sometimes they put something in there like free. So we have about 80 characters. We're going to put our most important keywords on the left-hand side. If we can't remember, we're going to go to lettercount.com and we're going to use it as we write our title tags so they're within the character limit. All right, now let's look at some other features for this. Let's look at a very competitive search, reverse mortgage. And let's look at what we know so far. So you want to get to the top of reverse mortgage. You're going to put that reverse mortgage in your title tag for that page that you're creating. Now let's think like Google. How many title tags occur on a page? One. How many home pages do you get? One. If I'm Google, if I'm skeptical, if people lie to me all the time like they do in SEO, I want to constrain you. You tell me what your website is about, the most important stuff. That's going to be your home page. There are other factors as well. Now let's look at the number of home pages on this search. Look at this guy right here, reversemortgage.org. Let's open that page up. Okay, notice we're on the home page. Look at the title tag, reverse mortgage. Once you know the title tag is the top of the browser, you don't even have to do uh, a view source. You can also hold your cursor here, and usually it'll, it'll pop up a little text. That's the title tag. So now let's notice that's the home page, right, reverse mortgage.org. Let's count how many home pages are here. One home page, okay, two home page, three home page, four home page, five home page. So 50% of the pages that are showing on the search are the home page. So what's your takeaway there? Your home page title tag is the most important tag on your website. So write keywords into your home page title tag. So your takeaways on your title tags are less than 80 characters, put your keywords in your page tags, do an inventory, and make sure that you pay attention to your all-important home page title tag. Okay, now let's go to another tag that's hugely important on our SEO. This is the meta description tag. So I want you to go in that Google document, read that Google document. You're going to find where it talks about the meta description tag. And it's going to say, we may use this. It doesn't say we will use it. It says we might use it. What does it mean here? Google uses the meta description tag to do what? To describe your pages. And let's see what we're talking about here. So let's look at our search reverse mortgage. And let's ask ourselves the question. Let's look at one of these that's pretty good. Let me try to find one that's got a good, uh, good description here. Let's go back to reverse mortgage calculator. Now it's might. It's not always at play. So let's see here. Use our free mortgage for instance. Let's look at this guy right here. Okay, we want to know where does this text come from? Where does this text come from? We know that this is the title tag. Where does this little blurb underneath here come? Where does this come from? That's what we want to know. All right, let's look at his page here. Open his page. Let's view source. And let's find his meta description tag. So look here, meta description. Use our free reverse mortgage calculator for instant and accurate loan comparisons. So notice how it doesn't appear anywhere on the page, does it? But it does appear here. And notice how what? It contains the keywords. So your takeaway here is this little blib of text, you have about 155 characters, 155. 
pop it in letter count, it's about 155. That is your description on Google. Here's the weird thing. It doesn't seem to impact whether you show up on the search. It just impacts how you're displayed. So your takeaways here for your meta description, and let's refer that to the title is, over here on the right, these people are writing their paid ads on Google. They're paying their hard-earned dollars. Over here on the left, we're writing our free ads, aren't we? So our headline is our title tag. That's our headline. Our meta description, our summary, is our meta description. So we now know how to write our free ad on Google with a great title tag and a great meta description tag. I'm not going to explain other things like how his picture is shown there. Uh, that's something else I explain in other YouTube videos. Okay, so what's our wrap-up on meta keywords tag, meta, uh, meta description tag? Lesson 155, put your keywords in it. It's mentioned in the Google Doc. Very important. Now, why do I think it's important? Because I'm trying to get the click. I want the click. I want it to be pithy, exciting, and fun. Let's go back and look at these searches. Let's look at these searches here. And look at how it's written. It doesn't just say, comma, 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 blah, blah, blah. It says, use our free reverse mortgage. Okay, how cool is that for instant accurate? Wow, compare. I mean, this is written pithy, fun got some zing to it. Look at how these guys write those meta descriptions so that people are excited and they'll click over. That's what you see on very competitive searches, people who understand this. So we want to write a meta description tag that's pithy, that's exciting, so people will click over. That's why I think it's a very important tag. All right, let's talk about our meta keywords tag. This tag causes a lot of confusion. Why? It shows up in WordPress. I'd love to take my gun out and shoot the people who develop WordPress for not telling us this tag is ignored. So people think what? Oh, I put my meta keywords up. I'm done with my SEO. Wrong. Doesn't help you. Doesn't do anything. It's ignored by Google and Bing. So it's very confusing. Now, let's go back and look at our uh, documents. I have some sort of substantiation of this. Let me close out of these guys here. Okay, so I have some substantiation of this. I have links, and go to our website, you get the links. You can print this out for whoever, and it's an official blog post by Google that says, we do not use the meta keywords tag. So you can use it. Now, I use it as a note to myself. What am I targeting? So I put maybe three to four phrases in there that I'm targeting, very focused phrases. I use it as a note to myself. Hey, Jason, what am I targeting this page on? I understand that it's ignored. All right, now let's talk about our to-do list. Okay, so for most of your websites, you'll find your tags are in a wreck. They're in dis disarray. You have terrible title tags, terrible meta descriptions, if you have them correctly at all. So we want to rewrite them. So this is what I call a quick fix. There's a lot of other stuff with our SEO, but this usually will have a big impact on whether a company starts to show up on its target Google searches. So we're going to write keyword heavy title tags and keyword meta description tags. Now I'm going to pop over here to WordPress, and I'm going to show you where they appear in WordPress. Okay, so I'm going to log into WordPress. Now, you may be using a different editor, but I'm going to log into WordPress, and I'm just going to show you. I'm going to click on, let me go over here, Add New. Okay, so see here, Enter Title here. This would become my title tag. Now, on WordPress, it's not super SEO friendly right out of the box, so I have a plugin installed called the All-in-One SEO Pack, and you can just Google that if you're a WordPress person. There's also a platform called Yoast. Both are good. Here's my title. Here's my description. Here's my keyword. So you can see I would write a keyword-heavy title, put it there. I would write a keyword description, put it there. And here's your keywords tag, which is ignored, but I would write note to myself. So every time I write a blog post or a page in WordPress, I'm doing what? I'm optimizing it for my SEO. So here's our to-do list. Know our target keywords. That's number one. Write a pithy, exciting title tag, less than 80 characters, with the most important keywords on the left. Why? Because we know those are indexed by Google. Write a pithy, exciting meta description tag, less than 155 characters. 
use the meta keywords tag as a note to myself knowing that it's ignored and I'm going to remember that the most important tag on any page is the title tag and the most important tag on the whole website is your home page. All right, so that's been our summary of quick fix to a website, keywords being woven into what our title tag, our meta description tag. Do this on your website. You will be amazed at just how this one simple thing can have a tremendous impact on whether your website shows up. If you want the instructor links or the downloads or any of the free goodies from this uh, session, go to our website, uh, jm-seo.org slash 32 is your magic uh, way to get there. Uh, or click on the description in the YouTube and that will get you there as well. So thanks so much for watching.